Hi, yes, I just wanted to quickly discuss my own cancer journey and my actual diagnosis. So in 2017, I kept being bloated all the time, went back to, back and forth to the doctor. Um, people used to come up to me and say, oh, when you do, because I, I did actually look quite, I looked like I was pregnant because my stomach was always bloated. Um, and the doctor used to just give me on Zoprazole um, and they blamed it on my MS and said, oh, she, tablets are on for your MS. Um, I weaned myself off the tablets for my MS because I was so sick of them telling me that it was that, um, that I didn't want to be on any tablets for that no more because I knew there was something not right. Finally in September 2017, um, a doctor looked at me and he sent me for a, a blood test and then also a scan and he said he was going to check my ovaries. I didn't think it was my ovaries, I thought it was my bowel or my stomach, um, I didn't even think anything of my ovaries because as far as I was concerned I had smear tests and I thought well it can't, it can't be my ovaries because my smear tests were always clear however your smear tests do not detect ovarian cancer um, they only detect cervical cancer so sent me for a blood test and my blood test was raised it's a, a level called C125 which is your blood markers for ovarian cancer um, it's supposed to be well under 30 and mine came back 200 um, so I had a scan and the, when I had a scan they discovered that there was two cysts on my ovaries um, one was 12 centimetres and one was 6 centimetres on, on each ovary um, after seeing lots of different specialists, gyneco uh, gynaecologists, loads of different doctors um, they said I had to have an operation, they told me that there might be a chance it's not cancerous and they won't know until they, they do the operation um, they didn't actually, I didn't think it was, I thought I was, I was quite hopeful that it wasn't. 24th of November I had an, an operation, they said I would have a scar up to my belly button. However the scar was a little bit bigger than that. As you can see the scar goes from, um, from the bottom right to the top near my breastbone. There was 54 staples in total um, and it took the nurse over an hour to get them all out. My final histology report revealed that I had stage 3B high grade ovarian cancer. So stage 3 is basically because it went from one area to another area. So if it had been stage 2 it would have just been in the pelvic area. But mine went from it went farther than the pelvic area. So it went into something called myomentum which is like the apron that covers your organs. And basically that was full of cancer so that whole thing had to come out. It was on um, my diaphragm, so my diaphragm had to be scraped. Um, it, my bowel and my liver were stuck together. That had to be separated. It was on my bowel a little bit and it was on my liver a little bit. Um, it wasn't stage 4, however, because it hadn't gone inside my liver. So um, the the before the operation, they did actually measure me up for a stoma bag. I didn't know whether when I, I woke from the operation if I was going to wake up to a stoma bag. I was very thankful that I didn't wake up to any bags. Um, it was just a big massive scar that I woke up to and obviously the news that I had stage 3 high grade cancer. So high grade means that it's fast growing um, but however high grade responds very very well to chemotherapy. So that was just a little um, insight into the actual operation that I, that I underwent and um, everything that went before the chemotherapy. It's been a long process so far. Um, it's now coming up to the end of March and that happened in November um, so thank you to everyone who ha has helped me at this stage I'm going to do more videos on my chemotherapy and also on hair loss um, anything else that you might want me to talk to talk to you about let me know in the comments if I, I'm, I'm hoping that these videos are helping other cancer patients if you've got any questions at all please ask me and thank you very much for listening